Well, hello there, and welcome to this mess. Um, so, I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. I've been busy. I have gotten better with the depression, but, well, that's not the matter of this video. The matter of this video is the DS8000, the Mini DS8000. Now, I have here uh, the the disc cage as you can see this disc is active right now there's only one disc these are just blanks uh, and as you can see an HSSDC2 cable right here with a link up uh, this is connected to what I think is going to be the final system that I'm gonna use I have to try various uh, systems but uh, I think this is the most ideal one. This, even it doesn't look, if it doesn't look like it, uh, is an HP. Uh, uh, what was it? Uh, I think DC seventy two hundred SFF, small form factor computer. And the specs on this thing are 3.4 gig uh, Pentium 4. It is a Pentium 4 651, which has, which is a 65 nanometer uh, Pentium 4. It has, uh, well, it's pretty much one of the coolest, as in temperature, uh, Pentium 4s out there. It has enhanced uh, C, C, uh, states and all that so that's good it's like an evolution of the a dice shrink uh, of the Prescott but yeah and it has twice the cache twice the L2 cache uh, we have 4 gigs of DDR400 memory now I could have used uh, an X server, uh, no, sorry, E server X series uh, that I have, that I think I mentioned on the first video, but that thing takes DDR2, and DDR2 is expensive. DDR2 is really expensive. So it just happened that I had uh, 4 gigs of DDR400 memory, so I'm using. DDR400, it's running in dual channel and at 400 megahertz, of course. For a hard drive, we have this little IDE adapter uh, that adapts well the IDE connector to a compact flash card. So that's a 4 gig compact flash. I'm going to install Debian on that. And we have a fiber channel controller right here. As you can see, with a bit of hot glue right there, I'll explain that. It is a Q-Logic, uh, I'm not sure what, ISP something. Let me take a look at it. Uh, ISP2312. It is a Q-Logic ISP2312. This thing, this thing is PCI-X. Right now it is only running at PCI 33 megahertz, which limits me to about... Uh, 80 megabytes uh, per second from the hard drives but uh, I mean my other option one of the other options was using a power Mac G4 which had a, a PCI X slots well not PCI X but PCI 64 bit uh, slots running at 33 megahertz with which could have, would have given me, given me sorry, uh, twice the bandwidth uh, that these slots give me. But uh, no, I can't use it because uh, I'm planning on doing uh, CFS on those drives. I am planning on doing ZFS, and turns out there's no way to get uh, ZFS working on PowerPC on any operating system so I'll be installing Debian on this thing 
with uh, CFS support. I sadly will have to install uh, non-free modules for this card to work. But yeah. So, how the heck have I connected an HSSTC2 cable to this card? Well, I quite literally just uh, ripped off the optical transceiver. I ripped it off, literally, with a pair of pliers. And uh, I soldered the signals directly to an HSSDC2 connector, which I took off of an IBM uh, controller card that I couldn't use because it needed some proprietary thing to work. So it, it's just literally the signals that go to the, to the transceiver literally just soldered onto the HSSDC2 connector. They go out in the cable and surprisingly enough, it works. I was as surprised as you might be. Um, right now I'm doing a low level format hoping that uh, as you can see here I'm running disk IBM uh, Seagate uh, and there's the node name and all that um, that disk I think is bad it doesn't turn the light on the orange light on which is the fault light doesn't turn it on but I have been being using this thing with the power Mac G4 and it's been corrupting data I don't know if uh, a low level format I have low level I have made a low level format from within GNU Linux from within Debian with some tool that I cannot remember the name of but uh, that didn't help it. So right now I am uh, low level low level formatting it from the card's firmware itself. So there we go. Can't show you anything else because if I unplug this, I fuck the disk. If I take the disk out, I fuck the disk. If I turn the computer off, I fuck the disk. Uh, yeah, you, you just cannot touch this system while it is working. And I am surprised that the actual uh, card cage, well, the sorry, the disc cage, doesn't need any signals from the backplane connector. It only needs voltages, uh, supply voltages. As you can see, I'm, I'm just feeding it with a, through this thick cable with a standard ATX power supply which I have cut the cables, the excess cables off and I'm just feeding it 5 and 12 volts and surprisingly enough the thing works uh, the transceivers which are these these two modules right here work just fine uh, the disc as you can see spins up just fine and works so I am quite impressed by that So yeah, that's about it for the update on the Mini DS8000. Next update, I hope, will be on Christmas, and I will get I'll, oh, I will be getting uh, 16 300 gigabyte discs and putting them in RAID C. So yeah, CFS through all of them. And I will have about, uh, what was it, around 3.5 terabytes of storage which, with a lot of redundancy. And that will be nice, that will be really nice because I am running out of storage. Well, I ran out of uh, storage. Oh, did it just finish? Nope. Oh, oh it, is doing, it is doing something. It is finishing, I guess. Yeah, I, I think it is finishing the format. Yep. Yep. Format operation complete. Um, 
So let's. I'm gonna verify uh, the disk media because I haven't done this. So yeah, it'll come with a lot of ad blocks. I'm pretty sure. Uh, so well, that's it. Hope you liked it, and you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. And bye.